The Halo series has some of the most iconic weapons in video game history, and in today's video I wanted to pick out my top 5. Again, this was another really hard list to make when you consider how many weapons there is across the different games, it was very hard to narrow it down to just 5. The main factor for determining which ones my favourites were were just simply how fun they are to use, and also how cool I think they look. There's a lot of weapons that I absolutely love that didn't quite make it onto the list, so maybe one day I might just do an overall weapon tier list. But anyway, before we do begin, if you do enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. I really do appreciate it, and it really does help the channel out. Let me know what your top 5 are down in the comments, but without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight in. The first weapon on my list is the SMG. Now, this has been in a few of the Halo games, and it's just one that's always been my favourite ever since it was introduced in Halo 2. I always find it super satisfying clearing out hordes of enemies dual wielding this in Halo 2 or 3. The suppressed version in Halo 3 ODST is also super unique and really fun to use, and then you can also use that in Halo 2 Anniversary multiplayer. It's not very good in that, but I still enjoy using it. And then the version in Halo 5 has a bunch of different variants, whether it be like where you have like a long barrel, an extended mag, an energy bayonet, and it's really really satisfying to get kills with. It's gone through a few different design changes with some of the classic ones looking quite similar and Halo 5's looking quite drastically different. But regardless of how it looks, it always feels super satisfying and sounds really cool. Moving over to the number 4 spot, we have a bit of a newcomer in the Halo franchise and that is the Shock Rifle, making its debut in Halo Infinite being this lightning electricity sniper rifle. It's a weapon that I basically fell in love with instantly. It is unbelievably satisfying getting headshots with this thing. The fact that it causes a chain reaction between enemies whenever you get like that interlinked metal, that's always really awesome. And you can even EMP vehicles with this thing. It's like there's nothing it can't do. It has an amazing design, it looks really brutish but also really advanced. The blade on the bottom and the and the electricity that's pulsing from it constantly just makes this thing look phenomenal. I genuinely much prefer using this than the sniper in any other Halo game. I think it's just the more satisfying and the more fun weapon to use. I think 343 did a great job implementing this into the sandbox in a way where it feels unique. It doesn't just feel like a copy-paste sniper. It has its own role in the sandbox and that's something that I really appreciate. And I'm very glad it's a weapon that does exist. Watch the turret! At the number 3 spot we have the Covenant Carbine, this again has been a weapon that I've always liked. In terms of design, my favourite version of it is probably the Halo 2 Anniversary one, but in terms of gameplay, I love how it functions in Halo 5. The variants are super cool too, you have the one that's basically the needle rifle, and then there's also the rapid fire one. It's one of my favourite precision weapons, and it's definitely one of my favourite Covenant weapons. I really, really hope this thing comes back in Halo Infinite, I know it's planned for it, or at least it was planned for it, whether or not it's been cut, I don't know. And its infinite design looks awesome, it's got a giant energy blade on it. So I really hope 343 decides to eventually add this to infinite. Speaking of precision weapons, our number 2 spot goes to the Battle Rifle. I mean, why wouldn't it? This thing is in pretty much every single one of the games. Again, making its debut in Halo 2, it has had a few different versions, but a lot of the time it functions pretty well, and every game that it's in, it's always a blast to use. The Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo Infinite ones are probably my favourites in terms of design. I don't dislike 4 and 5s, I just don't think they look as good, and 3s and 2s are also pretty solid. Most of the time it is pretty much the unrivaled king in the sandbox, especially in 2 and 3, I feel like it is just the best weapon to use. And I believe it's earned that spot, although I do love when we have contenders like the Carbine, or the DMR, or the Halo 5 Magnum. The Battle Rifle is just a phenomenal weapon across the board. It's one that has undeniably earned its place in the Halo Hall of Fame. Before we move over to our number one spot, I do have a quick honourable mention, and that is the Magnum. I don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. The reason this isn't on the list as, like, one of the actual top five is just down to the fact that every version of it functions so differently. Combat Evolves is insanely good, Halo 2's are satisfying to use but isn't really that great in terms of function. Halo 3's isn't that great. Reach and 4 it's completely fine. And Halo 5 is arguably the best precision weapon in that game but because of how different it is in every iteration whether that be from its design or from a gameplay perspective I couldn't quite put it in my top 5. Talking about the Magnum from each game is almost like talking about a completely different weapon. I mean some versions of it are literally completely different like the tactical Magnum in Halo 3 ODST. And then Halo 5 also has a bunch of different versions. It brought back the Combat Evolve Magnum and it's 
ridiculously powerful in that, or there's the Whispered Truth, or there's the other loadout versions. So it just feels difficult to talk about the Magnum as one weapon. The Battle Rifle, although it's been different in most of the games, overall it's usually pretty consistent. Same with the other weapons that are on this list. But the Magnum has just always been different. But anyway, moving over to our number one spot. At number one, I had to put the energy sword. I mean, it is just the coolest weapon in the series. I do feel like its function changed quite a bit in Halo 4 and 5, where it was treated as much more of sort of a rush weapon. Usually had to be a bit more tactical and strategic in the classic games, but it feels like with 4 and 5, you can just run at people with it with no problems. And Infinite feels like a nice blend between classic and modern in terms of energy sword gameplay. Having sword duels in Halo 3 is always super intense. And then there's also a bunch of different variants of it too, which are really cool. I'm not just talking about the fact that it differs in terms of design across the games. You have all the different versions that exist in Halo 5. We have Jaeger's sword in Halo Infinite. The Prophet's Bane, I mean, come on, it's got so many amazing designs. And it's just a super fun weapon. It's basically Halo's version of the lightsaber. You just run at things and just start slicing. It's a weapon that I'd argue is almost as iconic as the franchise itself. It goes hand in hand with the Sankili. Like when you think of an elite, only two weapons ever really come to mind, and that is either the Energy Sword or the Neela. At least that's the two weapons that usually come to mind for me. And it is literally the Arbiter's signature utensil. But anyway, those are my picks for my top five weapons across the Halo series. Let me know what yours are down in the comments. I am curious to hear what everyone has to say because I know damn well not everyone is going to have the same list as me. This as well is something that also kind of changes very frequently for me too. It depends on what Halo games I'm playing at the time and what weapons I'm enjoying using. So it's a topic I'd love to revisit in the future, maybe as a tier list next time. But as I said at the beginning, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. At the point of recording this, we are four subs away from 2000, and if we can hit that, that would be absolutely insane. I also plan on doing another video where I rank your Spartans once we hit that 2k goal. The support on the channel recently has been amazing, so I seriously can't thank you all enough for that. Cheers for watching, folks, and I'll catch you all in the next one.